Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Dying Yet Again, and we're having another GTA tutorial again on how to make a total conversion. And I'm going to try to make this pretty quick because there's a lot of steps involved in this next, next step where we're going to make some ground, you know, basic ground with a texture on it. And we're going to use a texture that's already there, and next tutorial I'll show you how to make your own texture and uh, put it on your model. So what I'll do now is I'll um let's just create a really basic plane to uh to you know just walk around on do all that stuff. So we'll go into the create palette here in 3ds Max, or you can use GMax. It might be easy to use 3ds Max, but you know you might be able to follow along if you're using GMax and if you're experienced. So we'll grab a plane and we'll drag a plane out about this big. We want it to be pretty big in the game because uh, you know we want it to uh, we want a lot of room so about where I'm zoomed into now is this right now is a, this about the perspective that the player would see about that it's pretty it's a pretty big plane not that big the player would probably even see a bit more than that but whatever so we got that there put it in pretty much the center doesn't really matter, just a bit the center. And uh, we're going to right click that and go convert to editable, editable mesh. So we'll select vertex here. I love working in vertex mode. And this has a really low amount of uh, vertexes or polys or whatever you want to call them. But you know what we're going to do is we're going to select this just to make it a look, look a bit interesting. We're just kind of going to move some of these around. Kind of make it look decent, not just a flat plane. And it's still not really going to look decent. It's just going to be, you know, a little uh, ramp. A really low polygon ramp. But anyway, we've got that happening. So that looks pretty boring. Blue, you know, that's uh, that's not cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go press M for the Materials Editor. And in the Materials Editor, we'll add a new, t new material. We'll click on Standard here. Instead of Standard, we're going to use a GTA material. So click on GTA material and click OK. So you have to have cams, max scripts, and uh, you've probably already installed that. My other tutorial covers how to uh, install that, I think. I can't remember what I did. Anyway, what we're going to do now, since we're ready to make a new texture, is we're going to go open TXT Workshop. And we're going to open an image. We'll go into our... Um, game director will go which is mine is gta tutz remember how, how i made that directory last time here we'll go to data maps basic which is one of steve zem's things that like this one came with steve zem's uh pack thingy we'll uh and we'll open basic map dot img we'll click ok and um he's already got some he's got two textures here Hold on, let's make this window a bit bigger so you can see. It's got two textures here. This is a shadow map, this one, and this one's just the texture, the diffuse map. So we're going to get the diffuse and we're going to go export, and then we'll export it as a target image, TGA. And we'll uh, just call it what it is now. Actually, no, we'll call... No, we'll leave it that name. So we'll go save. We'll minimize we're right here. So we'll open that folder right now that we saved... So we're in our directory now, and we'll go to data. Where's data? Data mm, maps. Yeah, maps. Uh, basic, and it's right here. Our texture. We'll drag the texture into this ball here, and now we got it on the ball. We'll drag it onto our plane. So we got a really interesting looking thing here. It's on the wrong way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the modifier list and add a UVW map. So we'll go U unwrap UVW. Uh, unwrap U UVW. So select that. Go click on this bit next to unwrap UVW and click on faces. Select everything that you can see. Uh, oops, everything that you can see. All that stuff. And go edit and once you're in here, select the appropriate map, this one here, and we're going to rotate this so it's correct. Rotate it like that. 
I probably should have done step to 90 degrees, but it doesn't matter. This is just a correct thing. Uh, so now it's pretty much the right way around. And it looks very basic still, but it's okay. That'll do. Uh, we're going to go and click back on RAM wrap UVW. We're going to right click on this. We're going to go convert to editable mesh again. So once we've done that, uh, click on the model, make sure it's selected. Go to uh, the uh, tools, go to DFF in out. And we're going to click on, we're going to make sure export DFF is here. And we're going to go skip call and we're going to go export DFF. And we're going to save that DFF in our um, directory. So GTA TTA tuts and data and maps and basic and we'll just save it in here as <gasps> wait forgot one thing forgot one thing sorry about that uh go up to the name change the name to let's call it uh floor right okay now we can go export dff we can go uh we'll change the oh sorry we'll go gta ttz save it in data maps basic and call it uh, floor.dff. Make sure it's the same name as you called your object. Okay, so that's done. We've got to make a collision file. Go collision in out. Uh, make sure, so, sorry. Click on collision mesh. Click, wait, first actually, I'm making lots of mistakes today. We'll go we'll click M again, select a new material, and change it from standard to GTA collision surface GTA call surface and change the number to anything you like I'm gonna make it tarmac and drag tarmac onto there onto your model uh, okay so after that go collision out and out select collision mesh and select your model um, make sure it's set to call 3 and call this floor right you go export go export yeah. Not coming up with anything, but that's okay because okay, we're gonna close that. We're gonna select the model again. We're gonna go collision IO. We're gonna call this floor. We're gonna select the call mesh. We're gonna go export. Great. So we go back again into our folder GTA TTZ and we're gonna go to data maps basic and we'll call this f l o r dot c o l this is going to be a long tutorial man okay we got that happening so now we go into txt workshop all right we go archive add and we'll add our two things floor.col and floor.dff cool so we've got those two things we've got all that sorted out it's all added we'll close this and make sure it's all saved We'll go back to uh, here in our directory. We'll go back to the main directory and download a, a tool called Map Editor, MED. And we're going to use that right now. I didn't start it up before, which was dumb of me. I wasn't thinking about what we were doing because I'm just making this up as I go. Uh, let me just resize this. We'll just open. Hold on. I think you can see this, but yeah, we'll go add. Uh, add a new directory called. Tuts. We'll create the make the directory in uh, local disk C wherever our directory is. Click on GTA Tuts. Go OK. There we go. I'll resize the window so you can see it. Uh, let me know if you if you're having trouble with anything, because uh, I know you probably will be because I'm rushing this really really quickly so